Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is River and I'm driving the Ford Figo Blue this week. It's a limited edition Figo. So yeah, there's not much changes to it. So I'll show you guys when I walk around outside what it's like. I mean it has the 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 side mirror covers are black, the roof is also black. It has black alloy wheels, they're 15 inches, and there's leather on the steering. Inside, you, as you guys can see, a bit, yeah, it's rich in Figo blue. So, yeah, it's a bit different, it's a bit preppy, it's a bit funky. There's also blue decals, uh, detailing around it. And yeah, this one is a manual. So, earlier this year, uh, I drove the Figo that is um, automatic. And I've driven it for a little while. Gear changes are very smooth. It's very light on fuel. And I'm actually liking it. I'm actually very keen on it. It's a very, very nice car. Um, seats are very comfortable actually and the detail and yeah pricing a bit expensive um, 203,000 Rand for this limited edition one but there are other ones obviously there's other figures so the figure from the manual started about 183,000 Rand it produces 88 kilowatts from 150 newton meters of torque so it's a bit punchy but when you drive same it doesn't lag as much the automatic one lags from what I, I remember it was lagging a bit like turbo lag it used to whine a bit you can do whatever I'm enjoying the manual so far and it's like it, it, like it's sturdy you know it's a budget car that's sturdy so this car takes on the Ford uh, it's the Ford Vigo <laughs> it takes on the Ford Vigo it's the Ford Vigo Suzuki Swift and Polo Vivo so on those three this is also a very good car oh, I've driven all three of those and I can tell you, whichever one you buy, you'll be happy. Like, honestly, you'll be very happy. But with the Ford Figo, I recommend the manual. Oh, and Ford has invited me to Idols, guys. Ah! So I'm going to Idols on Sunday, hence they sent the car so that I can get to Idols. So I took my, I've invited a few of my friends. And obviously, you guys will see that a bit later in this video. And I like it. I really like it. I like how smooth the drive is, especially with this manual gearbox. I'm loving how smooth it is. It doesn't whine at all and it's very nice. So this is the car, the outside. This beautiful silver and it has the blue detailing on the sides. Also 15 inch alloy wheels with black rims. So there is the car and in its cuteness and right now in my hand I have the key and there's the key so to open the boot you need to tap that button twice now the boot is open and mind the mess there was a few things yo, all plastics everywhere but yeah that's the boot space um, it's a bit tiny for me but it's very decent I mean, meant it was able to carry quite a number of my things so yeah that's it and we move on to the interior of the car. So there's the interior. So like I said, there's blue detailing on the doors. Um, there's the steering wheel. Um, there's blue detailing on the seats also. And it's written blue. Also on the side door. Yeah, so they went all out with making it a bit more sporty. And a bit more funky and a bit more different. And there is the sound system and the infotainment system small screen by the way but yeah that's where i put my phone to film and that's actually how you should yeah there's a little usb in there cord adapter thing i don't know but yeah that's the interior for you guys everyone it's sunday the 13th and we are off to here's the car safe and sound and yeah i'm ready i just have flip flops on but this is like snippets of my outfit to see more of my outfit you must go to my instagram but yeah i'm so excited i did my own makeup like look <gasps> face beat to the gods oh i look amazing <laughs> uh we'll keep up with you at idols um i'm gonna film also the live show and everything so i'm just showing you my look like i love this i love this messy hair like okay girl mm. so guys i've been driving the car for about days now and I'm liking how light it is on fuel although I did a long trip I fetched her from the airport so and it's a petrol in a but sense. where was it half above half so yeah. three quarters yeah. and then from Hatfield to Oar Tambor to Pretoria North and so where is it now under half okay so it's not that bad and yeah the car's 
very nice. The only thing that I don't like about it is the boot space. It's very tiny. Um, and for the price that you're paying, I think that the boot space should be a bit bigger. But in terms of the drive, like I said, I recommend this over the automatic. This one just drives a lot better than the automatic. And it's fast. It's, oh, it's incredibly fast. And it's sturdy. When you're doing 120 on a highway, it doesn't feel like it's jittering or shaking about. It's very nice. And noise insulation is amazing. What does that mean? Uh, what you hear outside, like P4. And the sun judge, thank you. How is <laughs> noise insulation key what you hear hot driver outside pay for so if uh, if you don't hear much you know that the noise insulation in the car is proper